Hi guys, it's me Zelda again. I'm bringing you another video and this video is talking about the postpartum products that I did use for my second degree tearing. Now, this video can be completely different uh, for other people just because it depends on your tearing and your healing. This is just me talking more in depth of the products that I love and I use and I highly recommend it. Starting off, I do want to clarify that I had a second degree tear. Now, I did require stitching and um, to be honest, the pain was painful, really painful at first, but it was tolerable. Like they didn't prescribe me um, any narcotics or anything like that. I basically survived just fine. With this being said, let's get started. The first item that I did um, purchase on my own was the New Mama Bottom Spray. Now this New Mama Bottom Spray um, is by Earth Mama Angel Baby. And I really do love this brand just because it's organic and I think it really worked. Um, now this is like a, a cooling spray. It has witch hazel in it, um, it has cucumber extract, um, of course it's kosher and it has like lavender in it, peppermint. Um, it just, it's very natural and it's soothing just because um, you're basically swollen down there, it stings, and you just want it to heal up nicely. Another spray I did purchase on my own is the Dermaplast Pain Relieving Spray, Burn and Itch. Now this is a blue bottle one. This is the one that you do want to get. Now, um, I'm going to talk more about this. This right here um, was not the one that the hospital gave me. I used that one all up. They gave you like, they give you like a small one depending on what hospital you go to. But um, with this one, I don't remember how much it was. It's, it's totally inexpensive. I went through two of these. And um, this Dermoplast pain relieving spray totally numbs your vagina. So like where you, you tore, um, you're going to spray it down there. And at first it feels really cold and then it goes completely numb. And every time I would go to the bathroom, I would clean myself and of course spray this down there with um, the New Mama Bottom Spray. Now I use this one first and then this. Um, another thing I want to point out, you do not want to get this one. I was pretty dumb and I ended up getting this one when I needed to get another one of this one because I run out of this one really quick. Um, but this will sting. So do you not get this one, okay? I wanted to point out um, that the hospital did give me the Tux medicating cooling pads. Now this is totally for like hemorrhoids and stuff like that. This I would place on the pad itself. Now this will definitely like keep it like cool and like feeling good. Another thing that I did purchase on my own were the Allway pads. Um, now, this is what you use after, like if you choose not to use the hospital ones that they give you because they do give you some pads to take home, but I wanted the ones with wings that like stay on your underwear. Now this pad is pretty thick as you see, um, and it gives you good coverage. Now I'm going to open it and it's a pretty long, long pad. So. I used this for a few weeks and then I slowly transitioned to the Always Infinity pads. Now these are really good especially since they absorb a lot and they're very discreet. Now they don't show through your like pants, like leggings, but these do. So I recommend you use like sweats for these so um, if you have a problem with like showing your pad. At that stage, I didn't really care. But um, these two pads are the ones that I did use and they're by Always. Now this is the Infinity and this is like the Always like nighttime one. Um, I'm not sh exactly sure what it's called, but these two are the ones that I did use. Another thing that I did purchase on my own was the Ibuprofen. Now these Ibuprofen, this is just a Kroger brand, inexpensive brand. Um, they did not give me 
any pain reliever. So I went ahead and just like chugged these. Like I would take like 800 milligrams at a time and they're perfectly safe for nursing. So um, the doctor did give me the go ahead on taking ibuprofen since um, I just did have a second degree tear. Now your doctor might prescribe you a narcotic, but that's totally up to you. Um, I personally didn't think that I would need um, any more pain relieving. I, I wish I did, but um, I got through it just fine, even though it was pretty painful. Now going on to the things that the hospital did give me, the hospital did give me like ointment um, that I already threw away. It's just like a generic hospital like steroid ointment um, that they give you that you put on your pad. Another thing that they did give me was these really big, um, basically diapers. So I took a few of these just for like the first like couple of days just because I was excessively bleeding. and. You just wear it um, with your mesh underwear, if that makes sense. One tip that I want to give you is take advantage of the hospital products that they give you. Now, what I would do, and I will like make a whole nother video about like saving the most you can while you're at the hospital and with baby. So um, I did take a few items from the hospital um, just to have my own little stash just because I knew that that was gonna work for me and it's totally up to you what you wanna do, but I wanna save money. The last thing that they did give me was a spray bottle. Now, it's just like a squeeze little bottle and stuff and every time you go to the bathroom, you just rinse yourself with that. Um, I just filled it with warm water and I just cleaned myself that way just because if you use toilet paper, it might get stuck and you don't want that to get stuck, you know? Um, you wanna keep your wound as clean as possible and you do not wanna get an infection or anything like that. Another thing I do wanna point out is that while you're in the hospital, you do wanna make sure that you take advantage of the products that they give you. So with this being said, um, every time that they would bring me new mesh underwear and pads and like the numbing spray and the steroid cream and the tux pads i would start taking them into my hospital bag so i would start taking spare ones that i was going to use for my house now they do um like give you extra to take home but that was my preference and i did read off of pinterest um that it's a good idea just to take advantage of that because you're paying for the hospital visit anyway so why not now one thing they do give you is mesh underwear this is totally up to you if you do want to take home the mesh underwear or use the mesh underwear um i used the mesh underwear the first week that i was home and then i started using my own underwear now they also sell like um disposable underwear at the store um i think it's by depends i think and they're like way cuter but um I honestly didn't care like I was in pain and I didn't want to like even deal with that so I took home like a five extra pairs of mesh underwear I took home like five extra pads I took another tub of the tux pads and then of course I took home the little squeeze bottle to rinse and then I also took home an extra numbing spray now um, the little numbing sprays that they give you and stuff they might give you a lot extra depending on your insurance plan and everything but i would highly recommend you take advantage of taking home the things i hope you guys did find this video informative if you have any questions just go ahead and comment down below if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe